All right, hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Nicole. And I'm Zach. I remember in sixth grade, there was a kid in my class and it looks over and it was like, wow, like if that ass was on a woman, that would be a great ass. <laughs> and then feeling like really weird about that <laughs> and feeling and continuing to check that ass out and being like, I don't know what's going on here. I would get really jealous when they had boyfriends or whatever or like other friends that they were hanging out with and I didn't understand where that jealousy came from and like it seemed not normal for me and so I started to kind of make that connection that it might be that I have extra feelings for those people um, and that it wasn't just that we were just extra best friends. And up until that point I had been like really like yeah I just want to be Brody Dell from the Distillers and then I was like sitting on my couch watching TV and I was like no I want to have sex with Brody Dell from the Distillers. <laughs> well damn. I think I might be gay. <laughs> so, so I guess um, it would be good to ask like, what specific movies and TV kind of impacted your understanding of sexuality and of gender while you were growing up? I, in particular, as a child, loved <laughs> Tu Wang Fu and didn't really understand why, but I was like, oh, this is just weird. These dudes look, you know, fucking Wesley Snipes in a dress. Like, you know. He chose the manliest men. Right. To, the dudiest yeah. dudes. The dudiest dudes became the ladiest ladies. <laughs> But I think something that I did understand, and I'm just remembering this now, is Grease. Like, I was really into the sexuality of that movie. Um, and there's just, like, a lot of, like, charged sexuality with the characters in that movie. And I thought that everyone was super sexy in it. I would have gotten with all of the Power Rangers, I think. <laughs> well, I can't be into the Pink Ranger, because pink is for girls. <laughs> So I don't I don't know that queer is a perfect word, but it, it's one that I find a lot of um, a lot of empowerment in and a lot of connection with other people. We didn't find ourselves as queer people on the internet, and like we didn't find ourselves as queer people until we actually met queer people, and I think that has a lot to do with how like queer people's voices like we're we're not heard ever anywhere, and like I mean that is a big goal of having this podcast is to tell our stories and kind of like broadcast that out into the ether.